Sennacherib boasts against the Lord. Isaiah chapter 36 Now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib king of Assyria came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and took them. Two then the king of Assyria sent to a rapshake with a great army from Lachish to King Hezekiah at Jerusalem. And he stood by the aqueduct from the upper pool, on the highway to the fuller's field. 3. And Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Azaph, the recorder, came out to him. For then the rapshik said to them, Say now to Hezekiah, Thus says the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this in which you trust? 5. I say you speak of having plans and power for war, but they are, b. mere words. Now in whom do you trust, that you rebel against me? 6. Look, you are trusting in the staff of this broken reed, Egypt, on which if a man leans, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all who trust in him. 7. But if you say to me, we trust in the Lord our God, is it not he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah has taken away, and said to Judah and Jerusalem, You shall worship before this altar? 8. Now therefore, I urge you, give a pledge to my master the king of Assyria, and I will give you two thousand horses, if you are able on your part to put riders on them. 9. How then will you repel one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put your trust in Egypt for chariots and horsemen? 10. Have I now come up without the Lord against this land to destroy it? The Lord said to me, Go up against this land, and destroy it. 11. Then Eliakim, Shebna, and Joah said to the Rabshik, Please speak to your servants in Aramaic, for we understand it and do not speak to us in c hebrew in the hearing of the people who are on the wall 12 but the rapshake said has my master sent me to your master and to you to speak these words and not to the men who sit on the wall who will eat and drink their own waste with you 13 then the rapshake stood and called out with a loud voice in hebrew and said hear the words of the great king the king of assyria 14 Thus says the king, Do not let Hezekiah deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you. 15 Nor let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us. This city will not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. 16 Do not listen to Hezekiah, for thus says the king of Assyria, Make peace with me by a present and come out to me and every one of you eat from his own vine, and every one from his own fig tree, and every one of you drink the waters of his own cistern. 17 Until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of grain and new wine, a land of bread and vineyards. 18 Beware lest Hezekiah persuade you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. Has any one of the gods of the nations delivered its land from the hand of the king of Assyria? 19. Where are the gods of Hamath and Arpad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? Indeed, have they delivered Samaria from my hand? 20. Who among all the gods of these lands have delivered their countries from my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem from my hand? 21. But they, D, held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, Do not answer him. 22 Then Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Azaph, the recorder, came to Hezekiah with their clothes torn, and told him the words of the rapshake. Isaiah assures deliverance. Isaiah chapter 37 And so it was, when King Hezekiah heard it, that he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. To then he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amaz. 3. And they said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and rebuke and e 
blasphemy, for the children have come to birth, but there is no strength to bring them forth. For it may be that the Lord your God will hear the words of the Rabshake, whom his master the king of Assyria has sent to reproach the living God, and will rebuke the words which the Lord your God has heard. Therefore lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. 5. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah. 6. And Isaiah said to them, Thus you shall say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid of the words which you have heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me seven surely I will send a spirit upon him, and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Sennacherib's Threat and Hezekiah's Prayer 8 Then the Rapshik returned, and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he heard that he had departed from Lachish. 9 And the king heard concerning Taraka king of Ethiopia, He has come out to make war with you. So when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, 10 Thus you shall speak to Hezekiah king of Judah, saying, do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. 11. Look, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by utterly destroying them, and shall you be delivered? 12. Have the gods of the nations delivered those whom my fathers have destroyed, Gozan and Haran and Rezeph, and the people of Eden who were in Talasar? 13. Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Sepharvaim, Hena, and Iva? 14. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, and read it, and Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord, and spread it before the Lord. 15. Then Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, saying, 16. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, the one who dwells between the cherubim, you are God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. 17. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear, open your eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to reproach the living God. 18. Truly, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their lands, 19. And have cast their gods into the fire. For they were not gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they destroyed them. 20. Now therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are the Lord, you alone. The word of the Lord concerning Sennacherib. 21. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, because you have prayed to me against Sennacherib king of Assyria. 22. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, has despised you, laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head behind your back. 23. Whom have you reproached and blasphemed? Against whom have you raised your voice? And lifted up your eyes on high against the Holy One of Israel. 24. By your servants you have reproached the Lord and said, By the multitude of my chariots, I have come up to the height of the mountains, to the limits of Lebanon. I will cut down its tall cedars and its choice cypress trees. I will enter its farthest height to its fruitful forest. 25. I have dug and drunk water, and with the soles of my feet I have dried up all the bricks of F defense. 26. Did you not hear long ago how I made it? From ancient times that I formed it, now I have brought it to pass that you should be for crushing fortified cities into heaps of ruins. 27. Therefore their inhabitants had little power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and the green herb 
as the grass on the housetops, and grain blighted before it is grown. 28. But I know your dwelling place. You're going out and you're coming in, and your rage against me. 29. Because your rage against me and your tumult have come up to my ears, therefore I will put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way which you came. 30. This shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this year such as grows of itself, and the second year what springs from the same. Also in the third year sow and reap. Plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. 31. And the remnant who have escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. 32. For out of Jerusalem shall go a remnant and those who escape from Mount Zion. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. 33. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor build a siege mound against it. 34. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and he shall not come into this city, says the Lord, 35 4 I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake Sennacherib's defeat and death 36 then the angel G of the Lord went out and H killed in the camp of the Assyrians 185,000 and when people arose early in the morning there were the corpses all dead 37 So Sennacherib king of Assyria departed and went away, returned home, and remained at Nineveh. 38 Now it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch his god, that his sons Adramelech and Sharezer struck him down with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat. Then Esarhaddon his son reigned in his place. Hezekiah's life extended. Isaiah chapter 38 In those days Hezekiah was sick and near death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amoz, went to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. To then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall, and prayed to the Lord, three, and said, Remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I have walked before you in truth and with a... I, loyal heart, and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. For and the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, saying, 5. Go and tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, surely I will add to your days fifteen years. 6. I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. 7. And this is the sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing which he has spoken. 8. Behold, I will bring the shadow on the sundial, which has gone down with the sun on the sundial of Ahaz, 10 degrees backward. So the sun returned 10 degrees on the dial by which it had gone down. 9. This is the writing of Hezekiah king of Judah, when he had been sick and had recovered from his sickness. 10. I said, In the prime of my life, I shall go to the gates of Sheol. I am deprived of the remainder of my years. 11. I said, I shall not see, J, Y, A, H, the Lord in the land of the living. I shall observe man no more. K, among the inhabitants of L, the world. Twelve, my lifespan is gone, taken from me like a shepherd's tent. I have cut off my life like a weaver. He cuts me off from the loam. From day until night you make an end of me. Thirteen, I have considered until morning, like a lion. So he breaks all my bones. From day until night you make an end of me. 
14 like a crane or a swallow, so I chattered. I mourned like a dove. My eyes fell from looking upward. Oh, M, Lord, I am oppressed. And undertake for me. 15 what shall I say? Oh, he has both spoken to me. And he himself has done it. I shall walk carefully all my years. In the bitterness of my soul. 16 O Lord, by these things men live. And in all these things is the life of my spirit. So you will restore me and make me live. 17 Indeed it was for my own peace. That I had great bitterness. But you have lovingly delivered my soul from the pit of corruption. For you have cast all my sins behind your back. 18 For Sheol cannot thank you. Death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your truth. 19 The living, the living man, he shall praise you. As I do this day. The father shall make known your truth to the children. 20 The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore we will sing my songs with stringed instruments. All the days of our life in the house of the Lord. 21 Now Isaiah had said, Let them take a lump of figs, and apply it as a poultice on the boil, and he shall recover. 22 And Hezekiah had said, What is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? The Babylonian Envoys Isaiah chapter 39 At that time, P. Merodach Baladan the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that he had been sick and had recovered. 2. And Hezekiah was pleased with them, and showed them the house of his treasures, the silver and gold, the spices and precious ointment, and all his armory, all that was found among his treasures. There was nothing in his house or in all his dominion that Hezekiah did not show them. 3. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah, and said to him, What did these men say, and from where did they come to you? So Hezekiah said, They came to me from a far country, from Babylon. 4. And he said, What have they seen in your house? So Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house, there is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. 5. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. 6. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your house, and what your fathers have accumulated until this day, shall be carried to Babylon, nothing shall be left, says the Lord. 7. And they shall take away some of your sons who will descend from you, whom you will beget, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. 8. So Hezekiah said to Isaiah, The word of the Lord which you have spoken is good. For he said, At least there will be peace and truth in my days. God's people are comforted. 40. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. 2. Speak, Q, comfort to Jerusalem, and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she is received from the Lord's hand, double for all her sins. Three, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight, R, in the desert, a highway for our God, for every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made, S, straight, and the rough places smooth. 5. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. 6. The voice said, Cry out. And, T, he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. Seven the grass withers, the flower fades, because the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. 
Eight, the grass withers, the flower fades. But the word of our God stands forever. Nine, O Zion, you who bring good tidings, get up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, you who bring good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Ten, behold, the Lord God shall come, you, with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his, v, work before him. Eleven, he will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those who are with young. Twelve who has measured the W waters in the hollow of his hand, measured heaven with a X span, and calculated the dust of the earth in a measure, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. Thirteen who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has taught him. Fourteen with whom did he take counsel, and who instructed him? and taught him in the path of justice who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding 15 behold the nations are as a drop in a bucket and are counted as the small dust on the scales look he lifts up the isles as a very little thing 16 and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn nor its beasts sufficient for a burnt offering Seventeen all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted by him less than nothing and worthless. Eighteen to whom then will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare to him? Nineteen the workman molds an image. The goldsmith overspreads it with gold, and the silversmith casts silver chains. Twenty whoever is too impoverished for such, why, a contribution, chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeks for himself a skillful workman to prepare a carved image that will not totter. Twenty-one, have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? Twenty-two, it is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in 23 he z brings the princes to nothing he makes the judges of the earth useless 24 scarcely shall they be planted scarcely shall they be sown scarcely shall their stock take root in the earth when he will also blow on them and they will wither and the whirlwind will take them away like stubble 25 to whom then will you liken me or to whom shall i be equal says the holy one 26 lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things who brings out their host by number he calls them all by name by the greatness of his might and the strength of his power not one is missing 27 why do you say O Jacob and speak O Israel my way is hidden from the Lord and my just claim is passed over by my God 28 have you not known have you not heard the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth neither faints nor is weary his understanding is unsearchable 29 he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength 30 even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall 31 but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. 
they shall walk and not faint. Israel assured of God's help. Isaiah chapter 41 Keep silence before me, O coastlands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together for judgment. Two who raised up one from the east, who in righteousness called him to his feet, who gave the nations before him, and made him rule over kings, who gave them as the dust to his sword, as driven stubble to his bow, three who pursued them, and passed, a safely, by the way that he had not gone with his feet, for who has performed and done it, calling the generations from the beginning, I, the Lord, am the first, and with the last I am he. Five the coastland saw it and feared, the ends of the earth were afraid, they drew near and came. Six everyone helped his neighbor, and said to his brother, Uh, be of good courage. Seven so the craftsman encouraged the goldsmith wink with a frown AC. He who smooths with the hammer inspired him who strikes the anvil, saying, Add, it is ready for the soldering. Then he fastened it with pegs, that it might not totter. Eight but you, Israel, are my servant, Jacob whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham my friend, nine you whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called from its farthest regions, and said to you, You are my servant, I have chosen you, and have not cast you away. Ten fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Eleven, behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. Twelve, you shall seek them and not find them. A. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. 13. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. 14. Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. 15. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small, and make the hills like chaff. 16. You shall winnow them, the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. 17. The poor and needy seek water, but there is none. Their tongues fail for thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. 18. I will open rivers in desolate heights, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the acacia tree, the myrtle and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress tree and the pine, and the box tree together. 20. That they may see and know, and consider and understand together, that the hand of the Lord has done this, and the Holy One of Israel has created it. The futility of idols. 21. Present your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. 22. Let them bring forth and show us what will happen. Let them show the former things, what they were. That we may, AF, consider them and know the latter end of them. 
or declare to us things to come. 23. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods. Yes, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and see it together. 24. Indeed you are nothing, and your work is nothing. He who chooses you is an abomination. 25. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come. From the A.G., rising of the sun, he shall call on my name. And he shall come against princes as though mortar, as the potter treads clay. 26. Who has declared from the beginning, that we may know, and former times, that we may say, he is righteous? Surely there is no one who shows. Surely there is no one who declares. Surely there is no one who hears your words. 27. The first time I said to Zion, Look, there they are. And I will give to Jerusalem one who brings good tidings. 28. For I looked, and there was no man. I looked among them, but there was no counselor. Who, when I asked of them, could answer a word? 29. Indeed they are all, ah, uh, worthless. Their works are nothing. Their molded images are wind and confusion. The servant of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 42. Behold, my servant whom I uphold. My AI, elect one in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. Two, he will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Three, a bruised reed he will not break. And a J, smoking flax he will not, a K, quench. He will bring forth justice for truth. For he will not fail nor be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands shall wait for his law five thus says god the lord who created the heavens and stretched them out who spread forth the earth and that which comes from it who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it six i the lord have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people as a light to the Gentiles seven to open blind eyes to bring out prisoners from the prison those who sit in darkness from the prison house eight I am the Lord that is my name and my glory I will not give to another nor my praise to carved images nine behold the former things have come to pass and new things i declare before they spring forth i tell you of them praise to the lord ten sing to the lord a new song and his praise from the ends of the earth you who go down to the sea and al all that is in it you coastlands and you inhabitants of them. Eleven let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Twelve let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. Thirteen the Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud. He shall prevail against his enemies. Promise of the Lord's help. 14. I have held my peace a long time. I have been still and restrained myself. Now I will cry like a woman in, am, labor. I will pant and gasp at once. 15. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all their vegetation. I will make the rivers coastlands and I will dry up the pools. 16. I will bring the blind by a way they did not know 
I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them, and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them, and not forsake them. 17 They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed. Who trust in carved images? Who say to the molded images, You are our gods. 18 Year, you deaf. And look, you blind, that you may see. 19 Who is blind but my servant? Or deaf is my messenger whom I send. Who is blind is he who is perfect? And blind is the Lord's servant? 20 Seeing many things, but you do not observe. Opening the ears, but he does not hear. Israel's obstinate disobedience. 21 The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will exalt the law and make it honorable. 22 But this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are, and snared in holes. And they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey, and no one delivers. For plunder, and no one says, Restore. 23 Who among you will give ear to this? Who will listen and hear for the time to come? 24 Who gave Jacob for plunder, and Israel to the robbers? Was it not the Lord? He against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, nor were they obedient to his law. 25 Therefore he has poured on him the fury of his anger, and the strength of battle. It has set him on fire all around, yet he did not know, and it burned him, yet he did not take it to heart. The Redeemer of Israel Isaiah chapter 43 But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Two when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Three, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. For since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore I will give men for you, and people for your life. Five fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east, and gather you from the west. Six I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Seven everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory. I have formed him, yes, I have made him. Eight bring out the blind people who have eyes, and the deaf who have ears. Nine let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this, and show us former things? Let them bring out their witnesses, that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, It is truth. Ten you are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. Eleven I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. 12 I have declared and saved, I have proclaimed, and there was no foreign God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. 13 Indeed before the day was, I am He, 
and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I work, and who will reverse it? 14 Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I will send to Babylon, and bring them all down as fugitives, the Chaldeans, who rejoice in their ships. 15 I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. 16 Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, and a path through the mighty waters. 17 Who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. 18 Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. 19 Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. 20 The beast of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. 21 This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise, pleading with unfaithful Israel. 22 But you have not called upon me, O Jacob, and you have been weary of me, O Israel. 23 You have not brought me the sheep for your burnt offerings, nor have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not caused you to serve with grain offerings, nor wearied you with incense. 24 You have bought me no sweet cane with money, nor have you satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices, but you have burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. 25 I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. 26 Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case, that you may be, A.O., acquitted. 27 Your first father sinned, and your, A.P., mediators have transgressed against me. 28 Therefore I will profane the princes of the sanctuary. I will give Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproaches. God's blessing on Israel. Isaiah chapter 44 Yet hear now, O Jacob my servant, and Israel whom I have chosen. To thus says the Lord who made you, and formed you from the womb, who will help you. Fear not, O Jacob my servant, and you, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Three, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty, and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants, and my blessing on your offspring, for they will spring up among the grass, like willows by the watercourses. Five one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call himself by the name of Jacob. Another will write with his hand, the Lord's, and name himself by the name of Israel. There is no other God. Six thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. 7 And who can proclaim as I do? Then let him declare it and set it in order for me. Since I appointed the ancient people, and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show these to them. 8 Do not fear, nor be afraid. Have I not told you from that time, and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? Indeed there is no other rock. I know not one. Idolatry is foolishness. Nine those who make an image, all of them are useless. 
and their precious things shall not profit. They are their own witnesses. They neither see nor know that they may be ashamed. Ten who would form a god or mold an image. That profits him nothing? Eleven surely all his companions would be ashamed. And the workmen, they are mere men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. Yet they shall fear. They shall be ashamed together. Twelve the blacksmith with the tongs works one in the coals. Fashions it with hammers. And works it with the strength of his arms. Even so, he is hungry, and his strength fails. He drinks no water, and is faint. Thirteen the craftsman stretches out his rule. He marks one out with chalk. He fashions it with a plane. He marks it out with the compass. And makes it like the figure of a man. According to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. 14 he cuts down cedars for himself and takes the cypress and the oak he a q secures it for himself among the trees of the forest he plants a pine and the rain nourishes it 15 then it shall be for a man to burn for he will take some of it and warm himself yes he kindles it and bakes bread Indeed he makes a god and worships it. He makes it a carved image and falls down to it. Sixteen he burns half of it in the fire. With this half he eats meat. He roasts a roast and is satisfied. He even warms himself and says, Ah, I am warm. I have seen the fire. Seventeen and the rest of it he makes into a god his carved image he falls down before it and worships it prays to it and says deliver me for you are my god 18 they do not know nor understand for he has a r shut their eyes so that they cannot see and their hearts so that they cannot understand 19 and no one considers in his heart nor is there knowledge nor understanding to say i have burned half of it in the fire yes i have also baked bread on its coals i have roasted meat and eaten it and shall i make the rest of it an abomination shall i fall down before a block of wood 20 he feeds on ashes a deceived heart has turned him aside and he cannot deliver his soul nor say is there not a lie in my right hand israel is not forgotten 21 remember these o jacob and israel for you are my servant i have formed you you are my servant o israel you will not be forgotten by me 22 i have blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions and like a cloud your sins Return to me, for I have redeemed you. 23 Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, you lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, you mountains. O forest, and every tree in it. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob, and glorified himself in Israel. Judah will be restored. 24 Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb. I am the Lord who makes all things, who stretches out the heavens as all alone, who spreads abroad the earth by myself. 25 Who frustrates the signs of the babblers and drives diviners mad, who turns wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolishness. 26 who confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers who says to jerusalem you shall be inhabited to the cities of judah you shall be built and i will raise up her waste places 27 who says to the deep 
be dry. And I will dry up your rivers. 28 Who says of Cyrus, He is my shepherd. And he shall perform all my pleasure. Saying to Jerusalem, You shall be built. And to the temple, Your foundation shall be laid. Cyrus, God's instrument. Isaiah chapter 45. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have at held, to subdue nations before him, and loose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors, so that the gates will not be shut. Two I will go before you, and, oh, make the AV crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze, and cut the bars of iron. Three, I will give you the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, I am the God of Israel, for for Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, I have even called you by your name. I have named you, though you have not known me. Five, I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me. Six, that they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting, that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Seven, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. Eight rain down, you heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Nine woe to him who strives with his maker. Let the potsherds strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him who forms it, What are you making? Or shall your handiwork say, He has no hands? Ten woe to him who says to his father, What are you begetting? Or to the woman, What have you brought forth? Eleven thus says the Lord, The Holy One of Israel and his Maker. Ask me of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands, you command me. Twelve, I have made the earth, and created man on it. I, my hands, stretched out the heavens, and all their host I have commanded. Thirteen, I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will, ah, uh, direct all his ways. He shall build my city and let my exiles go free, not for price nor reward, says the Lord of hosts, the Lord, the only Savior. 14 Thus says the Lord, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Cush, and of the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over to you, and they shall be yours. They shall walk behind you, they shall come over in chains, and they shall bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, Surely God is in you, and there is no other. There is no other God. Fifteen truly you are God, who hide yourself. O God of Israel, the Savior. Sixteen they shall be ashamed, and also disgraced, all of them. They shall go in confusion together, who are makers of idols. 17. But Israel shall be saved by the Lord, with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed or disgraced, forever and ever. 18. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, who is God, who formed the earth and made it, who has established it? Who did not create it, acts, in vain? Who formed it to be inhabited? 
I am the Lord, and there is no other. 19 I have not spoken in secret. In a dark place of the earth, I did not say to the seed of Jacob, Seek me, I, in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. 20 Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together. You who have escaped from the nations, they have no knowledge. Who carry the wood of their carved image and pray to a God that cannot save? 21 Tell and bring forth your case. Yes, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I, the Lord? And there is no other God besides me, a just God and a Savior. There is none besides me. 22 Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. 23 I have sworn by myself. The word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return that to me every knee shall bow every tongue shall take an oath 24 he shall say az surely in the lord i have righteousness and strength to him men shall come and all shall be ashamed who are incensed against him 25 in the lord all the descendants of israel shall be justified and shall glory